Hello everybody, it's Friday night, July 29th, 2022. It is a beautiful, quiet night on Lake Champlain. There's a lot going on this weekend. There are the uh, water cross races, just three quarters of a mile away up at City Beach. Um, and then there's a really funny name for this thing. It's called the Major League Fishing. When you look at all their memorabilia, it's MLF. You know, anyway, I digress. Um, Lots of things running through my head as usual. I am always in fear for my children and the intense trauma they've been put through and the psychological games that they are going to be dealing with for the rest of their lives. But something else needs to be said out of all of this and it is probably the elephant in the room, which is why there are so many different people trying to get custody of my children is that if you get custody of my daughters, you get about $2,000 a month tax-free. More than that, probably. Because I pay over $1,200 a month in child support. And if you have custody of my three daughters, what goes along with that is the Social Security disability payment from the government, which I'm sure Mass and Gill already applied for. I don't even know how to see if they're doing that. But you'd have to ask Kristen. It's probably $1,000 or so. So you get about $2,000 a month for having custody of my three daughters. And then you'd have to ask Kristen what other benefits are involved, but I'm sure she's figured all of that out um, to the maximum you know, possible benefit, as she should. Um, you know, if you have custody of, of my children, I, I, I wouldn't you know, keep that back from anyone. But what pisses me off is that you're not using it to my daughter's benefit. You're using it for your addiction and Ricky's addiction and further putting them at risk. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that my 14-year-old Elizabeth, although smart and very capable and the ultimate big sister, should not be cooking meals for the other children right now, especially if Kristen's sitting around. Um, anyway, yeah, that's the game. $2,000 a month between child support payments and Social Security disability in my name. And that brings the rednecks out of the woodwork, man. Everybody from Kristen's mother to Kristen's aunt to Lynn Massengill to all these other people that think uh, this is some sort of twisted game. And I can assure you it is not a twisted game. This is life and death for me. I am the father of Elizabeth, Victoria, and Aurelia Maiden. And our civil rights have been trampled, destroyed, shit on, lit on fire, and then shit on again by these people. So make no mistake about it, they see the writing on the wall now. It's time to just back down and, you know, come to some sort of settlement with me and my children. Um, God knows I've held back from really going public with this stuff because there are four little girls involved. And uh, although by the conduct of Ricky in May with the stuff that was published in the Sun Community News on May 10th and May 12th, just go read the stories about his arrests um, and what went on. And then understand that you have my 12-year-old running around um, 3419 State Route 22 looking for her grandmother and wondering whether her grandmother's coming to get her, but then warning her grandmother that if she does come to get her, come to the second driveway, not the first, and that it really is going to go hide in the woods because Ricky has a gun. So yeah, this is the kind of shit we're talking about. There's no reason after things like this go on for children to be put on a plane and taken to Alabama under any circumstances. These children should have been you know, wrapped in a blanket and, you know, taken care of and, and uh, put with their father, me, so that I can take care of them, so that I can enroll them in all the VA uh, programs that I have access to for my dependent care. And um, I have the time and am healthy, healthy enough to enroll them in individual therapy and then participate in family reunification therapy. Those are my goals. That's what I intend to do. And um, God willing, this works out, but there's a different tone set, um, if I'm reading anything correctly, and I, you know, it's obvious, as I had predicted, that once some of these attorneys start to read what's in the appeal, um, they're not going to stick their necks out and argue against that thing, knowing it's already pending and, no, and on the November docket in Albany. Now, again, this is a crazy thing to think of that a 100% service-connected disabled veteran of the United States Air Force 
who has been completely denied all of his parental rights by Timothy Lawless and Keith Bruno and this corrupt cast of characters, that I have an appeal pending before the 3rd Judicial District Court of Appeals in Albany on the November docket because of the corruption of these people. So these attorneys see that, and they see what's, what's in that appeal, and once they're notified, they're not going to argue against it. That that's, would be stupidity or professional suicide if they haven't committed it already by doing what they've done with these idiots. Anyway, have a great weekend.